everyone, welcome to a beautiful day in Cambodia. So today where we're going to be exploring is we are going to a place called Aeon Moor in Phnom Penh. And this is supposedly the number one place to actually go shopping here um, in Cambodia. So what we wanted to do was I wanted to check it out with you guys and see what we can expect to um, find here really. So we are just at the entrance right now and um, Oh, it actually looks like it's going to rain soon. But to find the entrance, this is Sweet Zone 2A. And you can see Red Talk here as well as Starbucks. So um, if you wanted to go inside the store itself, uh, this is one of the entrances that they have. So uh, let's go in and see what they have. All right, so while we're going in here, we've got some pretty cool stores here. So H&M. H&M is quite a popular um, store and they've got two levels here as well. That's pretty cool. Swenson's over there. Oh, cool. So, Aeon, we'll check that out later, but what I want to do is I'm going to take you guys around this area here and then uh, we'll head upstairs. Uh, supposedly they have three levels here as well, so we're going to go check that out too. Let's go have a look. All right, so we've got a Krispy Kreme over there. We've got Adidas and the Coffee Club as well. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Um, so I've actually gone through a few other malls here in Cambodia, in City Mall and um, what's the place called? Olympia uh, Mall as well. And there weren't a lot of people there. Uh, so I think Aeon Mall is like the place to be because um, a lot of the locals have actually been telling me to go to Aeon Mall as well. So um, that's why I'm here to, to check it out. So this is the number one Aeon Mall and yeah, there's definitely more people here compared to um, when I went to the other shopping centers. So Charles and Keith. All right, cool. Tommy Hilfiger. All right, let's have a look. Some shoes, Pandora. So they've got a lot of global brands here as well. So um, a little bit about this place as well is that uh, this Aeon Mall here was built in 2014. And Aeon Mall is more of like a Japanese themed mall. Uh, they've got quite a few malls around the world, um, predominantly in Japan, but they've actually branched out into Vietnam and Cambodia as well. And so that's why you can find these uh, Aeon Mall here. Wow, look at that. So very modern here as well. So 2014, so that's around nine years old. Nine years old. All right, so we've got a coach here. So this is the first level. The first level's got skincare products, uh, accessories, tea as well. Champion, that's a sports product. All right, what do we have? Timberlands, hoodies, shirts. Calvin Klein, Adidas as well. Wow. This is Aeon More One. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to come here as well is because I got recommended to come here um, as well as this place on Google has 4.3 out of 5 reviews with 10,000 people voting it as really, really good um, to actually visit. So, Giordano. Jelly Bunny. So it's quite big in terms of um, it being a shopping center and it's in the middle of Cambodia as well. It only took me 10 minutes to get here. And to get here, um, I think I paid around 5,400 real. So that's around 120 USD dollars to get here. I think it was like a 10 minute drive to get here. Um, pretty cheap, very cheap actually. Just in the heart of the city and um, yeah, very, very cool in here as well. It's air conditioned really well. Just over there, you have the information center if you want to ask them anything, uh, as well as some other stores here. Okay, so the first level is mostly 
clothes, accessories. Oh, and over there as well was electronics. So, I suppose that this space has three levels, so we're gonna check it out. The first level is mostly clothes, which we have just quickly had a look at. Um, the second level is, let's go have a look. Let's have a look. Ooh, ooh, massage chairs. Electronics here. Uh, toys. Let's have a look on that side. Toy stores here. Pharmacy products here as well. On that side, they've got souvenirs. It's called Amazing Cambodia. Daiso Japan. All oh, right, of course. So this place is a Japanese mall. So of course they would have Daiso Japan here. Every every single shopping center, I feel like, has a Daiso in there. It's just super cheap, and like you get most of your products there for very low prices. Um, own days as well as a Japanese product. Retail optical brand. Benjamin Barker. Cha time. Look at that. So, one, two, three. Four, five. So there's five levels, but the top two are car park levels. Estelle. Puma. Wow. So this shopping center actually looks very, very modern. Um, It's probably not what you'd expect coming to Cambodia, isn't it? Because uh, if I had my biases with me right now, I'd say like if I was to come to Cambodia, I'm thinking more like market sort of um, uh, kind of scenery. But having like a shopping center like this that's quite modern is uh, very cool because it just means that they're developing as a country. And mind you, this is uh, Aeon Moor number one. So they've got three Aeon Moors. And it's gonna be more, I guess, I'd say modern in terms of the way it's designed. Hydro flask. We've got Crocs on that side as well. Gotta love our Crocs. And more Japan products here as well. All right, let's see what we have. Tony Moly. So, skincare product. Ooh, you got a gong chat in the middle here as well. Okay, okay, let's get up to the food court level and the restaurant level. Let's go see what they have. Okay, we just got up the escalators. This is still part of the Aeon area, so I think the left side of the mall is mostly Aeon products and um, the shops are like kind of on the right hand side. So what do you have? Fast food, Texas chicken. Uh, so you got some buffets on that side. Oh, there's actually a few buffets. So right now I see three buffets. Kintan buffet, Shabu Shabura? Shaburi Kintan buffet, Sakura buffet. There's a seafood restaurant here. Um, yeah, you guys probably want to know what the prices are. Let's check out the prices. Okay, so you got noodle dishes, thirty thousand. So they're around seven, five, four, four dollars, ten dollars as well. That's ten US dollars. That's around seventeen dollars. Wow. Okay. 
So I guess like prices are actually quite um, expensive, I'd say, uh, in the mall itself. So yeah, but you've got places like this as well that are really cheap. I actually came here to eat the other day. Um, it's like 682 US for lunch and 773 for US um, for dinner prices. So yeah, that's uh, equivalent to probably 13 AUD dollars. So yeah, it's quite cheap. I mean, that's for a buffet, mind you, for 90 minutes, and they've got like fried chicken there, and they've got um, like unlimited drinks. So I think it's pretty cool. All right, pepper lunch as well. I'm telling you, pepper lunch is everywhere. As such a popular franchise. All right, Cafe Amazon. So. Cafe Amazon is super popular here in Cambodia. Um, it's kind of like the Starbucks of Asia because it's cheaper in price. So I think when I saw the comparison in the prices itself, I think it was around two US dollars for a Thai milk tea and coffee. Whereas if you go to Starbucks, it's around seven, seven US dollars or six, seven US dollars for like, um, like a green tea. So yeah. That's why the locals would prefer to actually go to Cafe Amazon rather than Starbucks. All right. So we've got Shabu Shabu, Santa Fe, the pizza company as well. Actually, that's quite popular. And they've got KFC here too. Um, the other thing that I found really interesting in Cambodia as well is they don't have McDonald's here. So they've got KFC here, but they don't have McDonald's. Um, so yeah. If you do want McDonald's, I don't have here. Ooh. Now this is the more interesting part. So um, in AO Mall, they've got an amusement area for dream games. And so we're going to go check that out. Wow. Okay. So they've got arcade. You see, it's much more lively than the other places. Wow. There's a lot of people here. The only reason why I'm saying this is because I've only gone to City Mall and Olympia Mall and I have not seen this many people. Oh, not other record. Okay, so supposedly I can only record the outside because they don't let you allow record allow you to record the inside, which I find is actually really interesting. Um, a lot of places here in Cambodia don't let you record uh, in, in a few places. So yeah, I just, I thought that was interesting. So I can't go in there, but just so you guys know, it's really lively in there. Um, like they've got basketball games, DDR, as well as some arcade motorbike games as well. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so this here is the major signplex. So this is this is where they'd have the cinema area. Okay. It's pretty big here. Cool. Uh, let me go check out what the prices are. I'm gonna let you guys know what you can expect in terms of like prices here if you're going to the movies. All right, so in terms of like asking for the prices, it was around um, 450 US dollars for a standard ticket. And then the lounge ticket, the, the more expensive one, was around 11 USD dollars for the front um, part of the seat, and then 13 US dollars for the back. Now, the other thing that they have here as well is Bluo, Rhythm and Bowl, uh, which is like a bowling place there. Uh, I would probably have to go in and get the prices myself because uh, for some reason, like everywhere I have gone so far in Aeon Hall has a place where they said no recording allowed. So I just find it really odd that you know recording is allowed in Cambodia because I haven't really had this issue when I've been traveling outside so um, yeah I just I just found it odd so I'll check out the prices and I'll let you guys know how much it is and so we can explore other areas of AL Mall as well okay so I've just checked out that bowling place it's five US dollars to actually um, go bowling there per game so if you want to go bowling there's there's bowling options here in Cambodia as well all right, let's go to the Aeon Mall section. All right, so we're gonna explore the Aeon Mall area here, which is cool, because they've got like different areas in terms of like uh, food that you can have as well. So Chinese food, 15 US for, oh no, hold on, here are the prices. Three US dollars for roasted duck and rice, pork char siu as well for three US dollars. So they've got Chinese food here. They've got fast food, so these are burgers and pizzas for four US dollars as well. Oh, 
cool. Look at that. It's actually like a food court area. Inside Aeon Mall. Donuts and snacks as well. How much are donuts? I don't mind getting one to be honest. Ooh, look at that. They're all like one US dollar. We've got a bakery section as well. Mini croissants. Oh my god, look at that. Yum, they have mochi as well. The croissants are around 80 US dollars. Oh, 80 cents US, so that's around 150 AUD. That's cool. What else do they have? So donuts and snacks. Oh, look at that. They've got like cake rolls here too. 190 for this green tea roll. What else do they have here? Oh, okay. Wow, so it's like a grocery store here as well. They've got your gardening, DIYs. This is like the grocery area. This is their supermarket area, so they're selling um, snacks, dried fruits, bathroom, shampoo, detergent. Wow, oh, okay. They sell cakes here as well. Souvenir. Oh, self service food ordering as well. How cool is that? I haven't seen anything like this before. We've got bubble tea and cafe areas. Clear food on this side. Tom Yum. Um, actually, I can't read that one. If I go English, search your food here. Let's say if I go ice cream. Green. All right. Will they give me some good ice cream? No, they don't. Okay. How does this work then? Uh, meh? Good, would that work? Oh cool, okay. Oh, holy shoot, you could actually order it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's what they mean by self-service. And then you probably get a receipt, but then you can just get it from them. Oh, that's cool. Wow, talk about technology changing everything and the way we order food. That's crazy. All right, so this is where you get your sashimi from. Sushi is $1.50 per pack. $1.50. Whoa, that is a range of sushi right there. Look at that. So that's $8.90 US dollars. Oh, that's like a range of sashimi on that side. What's this? Tom yum soup, beef soup. Oh, they sell whole chickens as well. Seven US dollars. Wow. I don't know. What should we get? I'm, I'm not that hungry at the moment, but I'm feeling like a snack. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so like this whole bottom section is kind of like food court area, bakery. You got your different zones. This here is Vietnamese food right here, I think. So they've got different cuisines as well. Oh no, this is the Khmer section, Khmer food section. Wow. All right, let's go have a look at upstairs to see what they have. Or should I go get a, I'm gonna get a donut and then we'll go upstairs to get some, um, uh, we'll see what's upstairs. All right, so I decided to come outside because it was just really packed inside. And um, what I got was this like 80 cent donut right here, US and, um, yeah, it looks really good in terms of like the outside and how it's made. So I'm going to check this out and see how good the food and the dessert here is in Aeon Mall. So let's check it out. Hmm, That's pretty good. So it's really soft on the outside. I mean, the inside. The top is glazed, but it's not glazed in a way where it's hard. It kind of just melts in there with the donut itself. Um, 
The thing I like about desserts in um, Asia as well is it's not too sweet either. So yeah, it's really a nice mix of um, sweetness in a donut. Let's go check out um, the second level. Let's go, let's go. All right, so that was a food court area and I've just gone to the first level. First level has makeup and handbags on this level. Let's go have a walk around. So they've got a sports area there. Oh, I see. So they've got a casual guy wears men wear here and some pajamas on that side as well. So this level that you'll find in Aeon Mall is mostly um, clothes for men as well as pajamas too. I find interesting. So, luggage spaces over there, suits. So, um, yeah, this level kind of reminds me of um, like Myers back at home. So, in Sydney, we have uh, a department store called Myers, and um, it's quite similar to this as well, where you have like your levels of different areas so like your women's apparel and then you got your men's apparel and then you got the children's as well as like handbags and accessories as well so yeah it kind of reminds me of that so yeah that's what you can expect from the second level you got your shoes and bags and i gotta find a way to get to the other side let's go to the top okay this escalator is not working so we've got to walk up in this area so third level is ah, the baby section and a toy section so baby's needs here Kids Republic. Whoa, this whole level is like full of um, kids toys. Wow, there's even a playground over there as well. Oh, I see. If you guys can tell, this balloon's actually in the shape of an ant. And they're getting ready for um, Halloween because Halloween is on the 31st of October. And um, yeah, I've noticed like a few promotions with uh, Halloween as well. So. Oh, they got arcade as well. Oh, right, arcade for kids, that is. It's not like for grown ups. And they've got like a climbing area and some inflatables over there, too. Kids' clothing, outdoor, sports. Table tennis over there. What else do we have? We have stationery here as well. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Oh, and they sell these as well. Wow. We've got kids doing photo shoots as well. It's cute. They've got mirrors and some photographs that they sell here. Some clocks as well. Rugs, interior design. So... Um, it's a bit more like home improvement, bath mats, interior. Some lights as well. And lastly, they've got the electronics area. So this is more for buying refrigerators and any electronics at home. And I think that's a, that's pretty much a tour of the place. I don't think they have anything else here. They've got a testing counter over there as well. Probably to test the products. All right, so we've just gotten to the third level of um, the actual Aeon uh, area already, so 
what we can do is just go outside and see. I think that's it. Yeah, I think we've do, we've um we've actually covered everything already. So the ground level is mostly clothes and grocery stores. Um, with like the food court area and then the second level is closed as well and the third area is mostly like food and buffet um, area so yeah that's what you can expect from Aeon Mall 1 all right all right everyone so we have just finished that tour of uh, Aeon Mall in Phnom Penh which is in the heart of uh, Cambodia itself now um, I've actually got a question for everyone because uh, I found it quite weird that every time I record in different areas and shopping centers, I always end up getting stopped and asked to stop recording. So um, I just wanted to know, is that a normal thing in Cambodia or not? Uh, I just wanted to ask questions and see what you guys think of it because uh, I don't think I've been stopped in any shopping center other than the ones in Cambodia. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are on that because I, I really would like to know the answer to it. So yeah, um, that's what you can expect from this area. Uh, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be back for more videos in Cambodia. See you guys later. Bye, everyone.